Straight super elevation. This is a solution to a problem we were facing on a roadway project that required varying cross slopes along the entire length of the project. Normally this would be addressed using a series of feature lines as targets along the edge of roadway. However, because of the use of vertical curves along the center line, this required a different solution. Now first we would start by creating the straight alignment. And along the straight alignment we would insert a series of uh, PIs that would, in locations where we're certain that the cross slopes would, would change or vary. Then we would have uh, the profile preset with the vertical curves. And then finally we would have the subassembly um, created and each, excuse me, the, the assembly created with the subassemblies having the uh, super elevation properties and we would verify that by checking the subassembly properties under the parameters tab and you would see here uh, definitely the use use super elevation would have to be, be filled out right lane outside and if, uh, if, we, if we selected the other subassembly would say left lane and then the direction of the slope would have to be away from the crown it's, we have to say that it, the potential pivot it would be yes and we would fill in these other fields as well, which is the inside point of code, point code, and outside point code. And another way to also uh, lo check this uh, it, property, the properties is in the properties box, the main one. And we would see these same fields as well: the use super elevation, slope direction, potential pivot, and so forth. And when creating the um, uh, the subassembly, uh, the, the assembly with the subassembly parts, we would look at the tool palette. And here we would find the var various subassemblies, and, and we would have to select the ones that has the, um, that have the uh, super elevation features. Now this lane, the basic lane, this one does not, but if you go under the, tab, the lanes tab, you'll find some that do, that this one here clearly has super elevation properties. And this is the one that we, I used to create this particular assembly. So now we're going to start by adding uh, the cross slope properties to the alignment. And this will be done by first selecting the alignment. Then the super elevation drop down box, um, calculate and edit super elevation, and open super elevation curve manager. And here we would first start by uh, create user defined curve. You would select that, and you would f select the first segment on the alignment, and press enter. And so this is the first segment we're going to apply um, the properties to. And then you go back here and we would select wizard super elevation wizard for the entire length and say okay and we will we would select the undivided crown then next um, we want to uh, deselect the symmetric roadway so that both sides can have um, varying cross slopes and then say next um, we're right now for this demonstration. We're not going to use um, include shoulders, but you can um, uh, change the shoulder width and the cross slopes as well. But we're not going to do that here. Um, and then we're, we'll say finish. Um, this uh, automatically once you select finish, the tabular editor will uh, open up. And if you notice here, the tabular editor says user defined. User defined is, is uh, referring to this section here on the alignment. Um, I want to name each section as we go along just to keep track of everything. So here's where we would change the name. And I would say station 10 to 11. And notice that it's updated here, station 10 to 11. Another thing is that uh, once you um, go through the wizard, it automatically adds these fields 
but we want to select our own stationing and we're going to want them to be from 10 to 11 so we're going to delete these remove and you can do it either here sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't let's try opening these up And then this one. Just have to remove all of these so we can select our own stations. Okay, and to select our own stations, this is, uh, you would add and then go to the station that you want, which is here. And then notice here in the transition, it'll say in region in, it'll start at station 10. And then you add and select the out. And then it says in region out, it'll start end at station 11. And then we will repeat the process by uh, selecting create a defined Create or use a defined curve, and we would select the second segment of the alignment and press enter. And this time we would rename that uh, 11, station 11 to 12. And then we go to the tabular editor and notice that it's here. And then we would add station 11. And so that's defining the region in. And then we would add station 12. And then we're going to repeat this process for the two last segments. Okay, and so now we can expand the tabular editor. So we can um, expand these regions. And what we're going to do now is we're going to add the, the varying cross slopes. What I wanted to do on the right outside lane is uh, have the station start from 2, then to negative 1.75. And then the next the segment, it would start at negative 1.75 and then go to negative 1.5 and then in the next segment it would start at negative 1.5 and go back to negative 1.75 and then in the last segment it would start at negative 1.75 and end at negative 2.0 and I'm not sure why this last region wasn't filled in, but it, it has to be filled in all the way to the end. And then for the left side, out, outside lane, I just wanted to change just the middle section here to negative 2.25. And then start at the third segment at negative 2.25. And then it will go back. And of course, we have to fill in this last field at negative 2.0. And so now we've already set all our cross slopes and where we can close out of this, this box here and this box here. And then the next step will is to create the corridor and extract a surface from that. So we've Select the alignment, go to home, create the corridor. Um, I'm just going to call it straight, straight alignment. Um, we'll leave this at this style. We'll, it's already selected alignment one. This is the profile we created for that. We'll select the assembly we've created. We didn't create, we don't have a, a surface to target. And then we'll say OK. 
and we'll say OK and rebuild corridor. And then the next step is to extract the surface along this corridor, the top surface, select corridor, properties, go to surface, create, um, we're going to add the top surface and add break line and say OK and rebuild corridor. And if you notice, we have here um, some contours so that we can see the surface a little bit more. I'm going to add a few more contours. So I'm going to change the interval on this uh, surface here. So I'm going to change the surface property. Uh, the box showed up on the outside of the screen. So here on, on this surface property, I'm just going to change this just for the purpose of seeing that. We're going to edit here, change the interval from 2 to point 0.1 and say OK and OK and now we see the contours. Now to verify that the cross slopes are what we wanted the next step is to add um, labels of the slopes and we'll see if uh, we have the cross slopes we wanted here. It's going to be a two point. We're going to select the two point method and we'll start from here. And this says this is our two, per, two um, percent, percent cross slope. And on the right side, It says ne uh, negative 1.8, which is most likely our negative 1.75. But let's go through and, sh and uh, add the slopes all along the with the two point. So you can see that the cross slopes do vary. Here, there goes the 2.2, most likely it's a 2.25. Then here. Is our 1.5 recall we created that here goes should go back to 2.2% 2 .2 slope cross slope and here should go back to the 1.75 and of course the lot the beginning and the ending were always 2% cross slope basically we see where this uh, is showing where the cross slopes that we selected on our straight super elevation alignment did um, did perform perform as we expected. Another way to verify that is to create the super elevation view, and we can do that by selecting the alignment. So first, let's do that. Um, I'll send this to the back. So we selected the straight alignment, and then. I'm going to go down here and create a super elevation view. Apparently that didn't select this alignment, so we select it this way. And then um, we're going to change the color of the left side lane to yellow. And we're going to change the color of the right side lane to green. And we're going to say OK. And then we're going to select a spot right here, close to the... Okay, so this right here, if you hover over it, it'll tell you that it's the right side lane. And in the center, it's station 12, it did get to be a negative 1.5% cross slope. And in the, the left side, outside lane, was negative 2.25 cross slope. And so this is telling us what the uh, what the lanes are doing in the super elevation on a straight alignment. So we did achieve um, what we were after is to create varying cross slopes along a straight alignment. And you can go into the uh, label properties um, at your leisure to ch if you would like 
um, to change this uh, cross slopes to have an extra um, uh, to change the pre precision of this to verify it even further. So that concludes our demonstration of a straight super elevation um, on a straight alignment. Thank you.